Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Coming at y'all back to back with another video. And this is another video about hip hop. This is a, a video about two rappers that actually do have beef with each other. Um, One of them had claimed, has stated that this rapper is a racist. You know, I mean... But th there's not really, like, any proof about the other rapper being racist. Yeah, you know, th 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 this is a beef that, you know, these two rappers still have beef with each other, and the beef never got squashed. But the two rappers, and, and these these rappers are, like, both lyricists, and they're also former label mates, too. But the two lyricists that I'm going to talk with y'all about today is Royce the 5'9 and Yellow Wolf. Who would win in this battle, Royce the 5'9 versus Yellow Wolf? Let's have a discussion. Chat with me. Engage with me. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Who do you feel would win in this battle, Royce the 5'9 versus Yellow Wolf? I'm going to give you my answer. I'm fans of both of these artists. I'm a huge fan of Yellow Wolf, and I'm also a huge fan of Royce the 5'9". But to keep it real with you, I mean, Royce the 5'9", I honestly feel that Royce the 5'9 would destroy Yellow Wolf in a battle. But Yellow Wolf can spit. Yellow Wolf is fire. Yellow Wolf, Yellow Wolf is, an, is an amazing lyricist. I mean, Eminem didn't really make a mistake signing Yellow Wolf. Yeah, I mean, these are these are former label mates. You know, they used to be label mates on shady records. Like, Yellow Wolf is no longer signed to Eminem anymore. Yellow Wolf, he doing his own thing. But, y yeah, Royce the 5'9", I feel, would destroy Yellow Wolf. But if Yellow Wolf was to do a diss track on Royce the 5'9", I don't even know. Royce the 5'9", he probably won't even respond to it. But, yeah, because they said something that, because cause I heard that, like, that Yellow Wolf, like, had reached out to Royce the 5'9", so they could have a discussion about the situation, but Royce the 5'9 didn't want to have a discussion about it, you know, claiming that Yellow Wolf is a racist in the song Overcomer, that, that um he did with West Side Gun, like, there's not even actual proof, I mean, but, but but to me, something don't really add up about that beef. Like, Yellow Wolf, I mean, I get it. I understand with him, with him representing the Confederate flag, I understand that. And, yeah, with him being a part of hip-hop, with him being a hip-hop artist, like, representing the Confederate flag, especially in a black music genre and black music culture, you know, a, a, a lot of people are going to have something to say about that. But but Yellow Wolf, he's married to a black woman, and plus he has biracial kids. His baby mama is black, and his wife is black. His kids are biracial. Something is just not adding up there. And you see Yellow Wolf, he did a song called To Whom It May Concern, where he was, like, explaining, where he was, like, breaking it down that he's not a racist. He, he was explaining on the song to whom it may concern because people always have something to say about him representing the confederate flag in hip hop and you see you know the the video that i that i did like you know i was asking a question do some of these white rappers use hip hop culture but i honestly feel that yellow wolf is not one of those white rappers i mean yellow wolf yellow wolf is somebody that can spit I mean, because it seems to me that, like, DJ Paul, he's around Yellow Wolf a lot more than Royce the 5'9 is, but something's not adding up there. But, yeah, I, I, I do feel... I do feel that Royce the 5'9 would win this battle, but sometimes with Royce the 5'9, like, it seems like... I don't know if it's his ego or or or, or whatever, but... When, when Royce the 5'9 had battled Lupe Fiasco, he blamed Joel Ortiz and King Cricket for not coming to help him. I mean, if the battle was just between you and Lupe Fiasco, that's between you and Lupe Fiasco. I mean, unless, unless, unless y'all plan, 
you know, okay, let me let me take it back. The beef between Dr. Dre and Easy E, like, okay, Dr. Dre, he did a he did a diss track on Easy E called Dre Day featuring Snoop Dogg, and Easy E had responded back with the diss track, um, Roll Compton City G's with Gangsta Drayster and BG Knockout. See, not not that right there is different. I mean. I, you know, they planned on collabing, even though the beef was mainly just between Dr. Dre and Easy E. But you see, the beef between Lupe Fiasco and Royce the Five Nine, Joel Ortiz and King Crooked didn't have nothing to do with that. You know, but but I mean, you know, I mean, it it, it just seems to me a lot of these rappers they just have like a lot of ego. But yeah, Royce the Five Nine versus Yellow Wolf, like. Who do y'all feel would win in this battle? I feel Royce the 5'9 would win. I do feel that Royce the 5'9 would destroy Yellow Wolf. But but Yellow Wolf is fire though. This is no disrespect. Yeah, this is no disrespect to Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf is is amazing. I love Yellow Wolf stuff. Now, now if Yellow Wolf was to get into a battle against somebody like Big Crit. I do feel a battle between Yellow Wolf and Big Crit would be classic. But against Royce the 5'9, no, nah, Royce the 5'9 is on another level. But yo, yeah, let's have a discussion. Chat with me, engage with me, my fellow hip hop fans, my fellow fans of lyricism. Who would win in this rap battle? Royce the 5'9 versus Yellow Wolf. <laughs> Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, and again, my new track, I Can and I Will Remix, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud, you can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G, let's run this up, let's blow this up, love y'all.